Worms. Great for the garden, great for the soil. These are, of course, earthworms found in our surgery flower beds. There are, however, other types of worm that can live and thrive inside our bodies causing health problems. The commonest such worm is the threadworm, sometimes known as the pinworm. Threadworms are very, very much smaller than the garden earthworm, but are visible to the naked eye. They appear as thin white strands up to a centimetre long, looking like desiccated coconut or threads of white cotton. They are seen around the anus or actually on faeces. They can live inside our gut, but come out usually at night and lay eggs on the skin around the anus. Eggs attach by a sticky substance which causes itching. To complete the life cycle, they must reach the mouth of another person and be swallowed back into the gut. This sounds unlikely, but is in fact common. Some people don't wash their hands after toileting. As a result, they may unwittingly have the invisible eggs on their hands or under their fingernails. They can reinfect themselves or pass on the infection when touching others. The cycle is completed when fingers touch the mouth and eggs are swallowed. Threadworm infection is commoner in young children for this reason. They are more likely to have poor hand hygiene and more likely to put their fingers in their mouths. Threadworm infection causes itching, which is usually around the anus and more noticeable at night. Infection can result in marked soreness, vulval itching, discomfort when urinating, bedwetting, sleep deprivation and irritability. A story of an itchy bottom, usually worse at night, with characteristic white threads on faeces is enough to confirm infection. Lab tests are not necessary. Thankfully, treatment is simple and usually involves a one-off dose of medication such as mebendazole or piperazine. There is little in the way of side effects and both medicines come in a liquid or tablet form. All family members should be treated as some people don't show any signs of infection. Specific advice should be sought from your doctor or pharmacist if you are pregnant or if your child is under two years of age. After treatment, infection may take up to two weeks to clear. During this time, simple measures should be followed to help prevent infection and further spread. Ensure hand washing after using the toilet. Use a nail brush. Keep fingernails trimmed. Bath after waking. Avoid hand to mouth contact. Avoid finger feeding use cutlery, wear night clothes or pants in bed, avoid shaking, use bed linen as this may spread eggs, wash night clothes and bed linen daily. Remember, threadworm infection is really serious. The real key to preventing this infection and others is proper hand washing, especially after using the toilet. Keep clean, keep well.